This election year, the choice is clear. One man stands ready to deliver change we desperately need. A man I'm proud to call my friend. A man who will be the next president of the United States, Barack America. Barack Obama, Barack Obama, in the United States Senate and the campaign trail, well over a year ago said, we desperately need to add, get two more combat battalions to Afghanistan, because if we don't, we may lose it. As you know, I've got lots of support from you, Cindy. That's where and more to come, I think. Yes, so. No, I've, I've had a great relationship. In Delaware, the largest growth in population is Indian Americans moving from India. You cannot go to a 7 Eleven or a Dunkin' Donuts unless you have a slight Indian accent. To fully, I'm not joking. Oh, it's gigantic. Hillary Clinton is as qualified or more qualified than I am to be Vice President of the United States of America. Let's get that straight. She's a truly close personal friend. She is qualified to be President of the United States of America. She's easily qualified to be Vice President of the United States of America. And quite frankly, um, it might have been a better pick than me, but she's first rate. The Republican Party and some of the blogs and others on the far right are trying very hard to paint a picture of this man. They're trying the best as they can to mischaracterize who he is and what he stands for. All this stuff about how different Barack Obama is. They're just not used to somebody really smart. They're just not used to somebody who's really well educated. They just don't know quite how to handle it. Because if he's as smart as Barack is, he mustn't be from my neighborhood. <laughs> this is my wife, Jill. Or actually, I'm her husband. And I also am told that, uh, that uh, uh, Chuck Graham, state senator, is here. Chuck, stand up, Chuck. Let him see you. Oh, God love you. What am I talking about? I tell you what, you're making everybody else stand up, though, pal. Thank you very, very much. I tell you what, stand up for Chuck. Thank you, pal. You can tell I'm new. Good to see you, buddy. Thank you. Thank you. So let, let me just ask a question to everyone on this stage, and I know we said we wouldn't do a lot of show of hands. This is probably the only one we'll do tonight. How many people here took a private jet or a charter jet to get here tonight? Yesterday. You're not sure? Yesterday. 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 Okay, okay. <laughs> you, Senator Gravel, what was that? You took, you took the train? I took the train. And I took the bus. Okay. And maybe one of these will give me a ride someday. Senator Biden, words have in the past gotten you in trouble, words that were borrowed and words that some found hateful. An editorial in the Los Angeles Times said, in addition to his uncontrolled verbosity, Biden is a gaffe machine. Can you reassure your voters in this country that you would have the discipline you would need on the world stage, Senator? Yes. <laughs> Thank you, Senator Biden. What do you think when people say, Joe Biden, you know, he'd be a strong on security, great vice president. <laughs> yeah, no. Well, I, the, the one that I find fascinating now is I'm apparently everybody's choice for Secretary of State. I mean, yeah. I'm a very nice thing, but I am not running for vice president. I would, uh, I would not accept it if anyone offered it to me. And the fact of the matter is I would much prefer to stay as chairman of the Foreign Relations Committee than vice president.